So welcome. My name is Craig and I'm sat here with my friend Niels here in Clooney Garden in the orchard. We're here to talk about Experience Week um, which if you don't know is the introductory program to the Findhorn Foundation and community and it's been running for over 45 years. Niels, when did you do your Experience Week? I did my experience week at the end of May in 1990. Uh, I came to Fintown with a group of Danes. There was a woman called Jacqueline Longstaff. She was British. She had a centre in Denmark and she took 25 of us to uh, do experience week uh, here in Cluny, which was, yeah, as I don't know, for most people, I believe, is a life-changing program. It certainly was for me. It was wow. Uh, I thought that I lived a, a, a wonderful life, uh, absolutely, but uh, it became even more wonderful uh, afterwards. More conscious, really becoming aware of the interconnection to everything, to nature to all beings was amazing was amazing mm. i loved it <laughs> and what called you to to decide to come and do experience week well i i uh, that was you know happened much earlier in my life in back in uh, the early 80s when um, I had become a vegetarian out of health reasons and I had started to follow some uh, lectures uh, in Copenhagen where I lived at the time. Uh, I think uh, Sears was called Gurus of Our Time and the man who gave this lecture t talked about the Fintorn Foundation and about the huge vegetables they grew in this place. And I had this imagination, this fantasy of me walking under these huge vegetables in Scotland. I knew in my heart that I had to go to this place. I just knew that. And he was also showing uh, some slides uh, from a journey to Scotland and one of them was of, uh, of Iona Abbey and the same thing, I had to go to this place. But I, you know, I thought uh, I couldn't travel on my own and I couldn't, I didn't speak English, so I thought, no, you know, that's not going to happen. But it was in my heart, and it took me almost 10 years before. Then this woman from Denmark took this group so that I, all my excuses fell away. Even though the experience week was in English still, uh, but then I had a whole lot of fellow Danes to translate what I didn't understand. And what do you remember most from your week? Me sitting in the greenhouse here in Clooney because I worked in the garden, that was my service department, I worked there. And I was using all my free time sitting in the greenhouse writing my diary because so many things happened and I wanted to take it all home with me, wanted to make sure that I remembered everything, everything was important. The gardeners had all these little plastic ducks and things on the greenhouse shelf and in my arrogance I thought this is ridiculous. This is a greenhouse that should be plants here. And then the gardeners explained to me that these little darlings were there to remind them of the unseen beings that they didn't see with their physical eyes. And uh, I thought, oh, I want something to remind me of the unseen beings. And that's when my little bears to wear came in. I bought my first bear to wear when I was on my experience week to take home with me to remind me uh, that about the unseen beings that I don't see with my physical eyes. And later it has also become, you know, life is not that serious, you know. <laughs> don't take life so serious. <laughs> so. And uh, of course my bears have now been in lockdown for a long time and this is the first day they are out actually. So wonderful, here they are together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you went home after your week. 
after your experience? With I, I was here for two weeks. I did a departmental guest week the following week, uh, which is what the equivalent to being in community as we call it now. Right. And I loved it, loved it, loved it to bits. So when I came back to Denmark, my head was full of Fintorn, my night dreams, my daydreams, my fantasies. So just, just amazing. It has made such a deep impression on me. I was so full of life. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the three principles, the three founding principles of the foundation, love in action, inner listening, and co-creation with the intelligence of nature um, and you know how that weaves into life here what do you remember about that during your experience week how did that land in you i had trained in meditation uh, which when i first was presented to me i thought oh my god what is this um, so i had appreciated to be still and to just yeah listening to what comes what comes when the mind gives up on trying to control everything and is there something purer uh, that comes through that you know is there that whatever formless energy that i call god that can be called anything you know that then can come through in the stillness which can be profound mm. and it doesn't necessarily for me mean to sit still I, I you know I can be meditating when I'm gardening I can be meditating when I'm in nature and just in awe of the beauty that surrounds me Wow yeah beautiful yeah. <laughs> More and more, of course, in all the years I've been here now, it translates into uh, the confidence or the trust in there is a plan. There is life unfolds in each moment, you know, and I'm not in control of that. Mm. I often want to be, uh, but if I I'm too adamant on wanting to go in a certain direction and life doesn't want me to go there think, you know then I'm in trouble and then <laughs> it can be painful <laughs> to realize that I'm not really in control of this <laughs> something bigger than me that knows has is much wiser than I am mm. will do that mm. <laughs> so do you remember your hopes for yourself um, any hopes that you had uh, maybe for yourself for your family for your community back home before or during your experience week it felt very much to me uh, like coming out of experience week that you know this is the way forward for the world this is the way that where everybody can come together and to be loving and understanding and embracing all of what all of what we are you know the good the bad everything has its place whatever i call bad you know uh, and it felt very much to me like yeah if if we go in that direction a little bit like I think after the Second World War you know that hope that never ever war again you know that there was such a hope that now there could be freedom for everybody in whatever whatever it was in in whatever way or form and 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 to imagine for me that all the the conflicts and all the uh, unrest and uh, stuff that goes on in the world of corruption and uh, you name it you know uh, that that would all vanish maybe it's a bit naive but that's you know that that kind of hope that 
this is a way forward where everything can you know come into its rightful place and it will be okay and everything will be served from a higher purpose it was amazing it really was that oh yeah we can do that this hope that don't go into despair of you know whatever the negativity the darkness will take over because there is a light that will rise and will lift us all up mm. in this so so just with a lot of joy with a lot of joy of course yeah and <laughs> And, and having said that, of course, you know, I also know that yeah, life is not all sweetness. You know, everybody knows that. It's not. And it is often in the, in the places where things get uh, tight and where I want to control things because I think I know better that I struggle and where things may not be so easy. Uh, but then I normally learn a lot in these in these situations where you know I think I know better the arrogance the ego that comes up and you know puts me in the rightful place of humbleness and okay so somebody else knows better than you do mm -hmm. what needs to happen <laughs> do you remember your unique contribution that you made to the experience week <laughs> I, I I don't know that I uh, you know I I'm not aware that I had any I was in complete awe of what happened or the, whatever I was so impressed and shy and of course my lack of a whole lot of English didn't help so but I did ask Eileen a question when on the Wednesday uh, afternoon uh, we all went over to Cologne House which was part of the foundation then and to meet Eileen uh, and I remember I asked Eileen a question it was it was amazing to come into a room that was filled from from floor to ceiling with love and lots of us just spontaneously cry you know tears were just running down our cheeks and here was uh, Eileen sitting in this granny chair and just beaming love it was just like wow <laughs> wow <laughs> that I don't I don't uh, I don't know that I had any particular contribution to to give I apart from what I what I, I did in the garden but I loved being there you know so and I had a bit of ex being a farm boy I had a bit of experience in gardening so mm -hmm. so I probably had something to contribute there so I wonder if um, receiving the love you felt when you were with Eileen was part of that contribution you made and maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah maybe uh -huh. and how has life unfolded for you since then since your experience week how many years ago is it now 28 years and something uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is amazing uh, I yeah it, it was very clear that I when I came back to Denmark and all this thing about Fintorn was going on in my daydreams and night dreams and fantasies that I wanted to check it out I wanted to go and see whether this was just a romantic fantasy in my in my head or whether there was some reality to this could I come and be part of this community for a little while uh, and see uh, so uh, and that's what I did I uh, and I thought I wanted to stay long enough so that I knew the honeymoon was over and I thought about three months uh, so I came to uh, be do the living in community guest program uh, the following year again <laughs> it was completely amazing I was in the dining room that was my work department for three and a half months and I absolutely loved it my father 
throughout my life he would bring a bouquet of wildflowers to my mother and it was everything everything uh, it was grass and and thistles and all kind of things but it was so beautiful mm. so and I did that that was part of my job in the dining room that I created this flower arrangement on individual flower arrangements on each table and I went out you know in the garden and in the wilderness to collect this and to do that so loved it loved it loved it mm. and that's when I didn't know that Fintorn had a retreat house on the island of Iona when I came to uh, be here and uh, then of course I remembered that I had this also I need to go to Iona I felt that mm. so uh, before I went back to Denmark I went to Iona mm. uh, and that is when I walked over the doorstep to this house that the thought entered my head that how wonderful it would be to be the caretaker of this place and I ridiculed it completely because I thought I haven't even been in the house this is ridiculous how how come that it would be wonderful to be the caretaker of that place and so it just so happened that yes as you know I was the caretaker of our retreat house on Iona for 20 years so amazing 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 mm. amazing but I didn't and I didn't stay after my living in community guest time three and a half months because my company had paid my my salary while I was here as an appreciation for what I had done for the company so I thought I couldn't just come back and say okay this is the place that I'm going to spend the rest of my life I'm off so I f felt the duty to uh, moral duty to go back and work for another year for the company before I came to become a member of this wonderful community <laughs> that I'm a part of. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And here you are now. <laughs> yeah, I am now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. all these years. Yeah. Yeah. And in that time, um, you, you began focalizing at Spirits Week. I yeah. did. I did my first uh, co-focalizing I think it was 94 uh, and it was a disaster at least I think I was a disaster in this uh, first uh, the group completely uh, was into revolt and uh, did not want to do anything uh, on the Wednesday they felt that they were being used they had paid to come here and then they had to work and this whole story that we have heard now and again as well, you know, that did not want it. And I thought, oh my God. And I didn't know, uh, fortunately, Jeanette Campbell was my co-focalizer or my, the focalizer. Uh, and I could have, yes, if there would have been a trap door, I would have fallen through that and never be to be seen again. Uh, but yeah, she handled it very beautifully. So, uh, and after, at the end of it, she said, well, you've been sitting through this, you know, you'll be fine. You can do anything now. So I said, oh my goodness me. I also, it was beautiful to see that whole process of how to come through that, to see how do we work with a conflict? How, when people, and where do our people coming from when they go into that? you know a feeling that uh, they are being used or what is what is going on when this is happening mm -hmm. so and of course I have learned a hell of a lot more about that in the all the years I've been here because I have been in so many groups <laughs> that it is wow it's just that I have seen so many people come through this place seen so many people transform beautiful beautiful people uh, that has just yeah see how their hearts open and you know what happens in this space is just such a privilege yeah yeah and um, before we were we were doing a rough calculation of so you've held about 130 experience weeks that's true and <laughs> so and then with the guests that you were holding on Iona in Treban yeah 
So it's probably something like three and a half thousand people. Maybe. Could be. <laughs> Could be. Which is unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. So many beautiful souls are. And they all out there. Mm. They are. You know. Mm. I'm sure bringing light to the world, you know. Mm. I'm sure. You know, how could they not? Mm. How could they not do that? Wow. What a gift. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you remember any highlights um, of all those weeks <laughs> over the years? <laughs> Man, I don't know what to pick. I mean, there are so many, so many beautiful memories of, of people being touched and people sharing. So some deep stuff of being uh, being emotional or you know or having games and uh, rolling rolling around on the floor with laughter you know all of it all of it and having having conflict where everything broke up and 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 it coming together again you know mm.